The prospective launch of the 77710 now appears to be closer than it ever has been, and it's been a decade-long story. On day one of the 2025 edition of the Dubai Air Show, Emirates committed to 65 additional 777X jets, but it was the final details in the press release that arguably attracted the most attention. In that release, Emirates confirmed that with the latest agreement for the popular long-haul jet, which does remain uncertified, Boeing now formally has the backing to proceed with a feasibility study. That feasibility study considers developing a 77710 model, which, if released, would be the largest variant in the family, Emirates confirming that it's signed up for options in the program that could be converted to the 77710 or even the smaller 7778. Speaking about the 77710 study, Emirates' chairman and chief executive said that they fully support Boeing's feasibility study to develop this model and they are very keen on purchasing it. The drive for a feasibility study for this aircraft type I've been speaking about, however, is nothing new. This prospective jet has been a talking point for over a decade. Its presence dates back to the 2010s when the jet was first considered. Despite interest from Boeing, they never formally proceeded with the launch of the aircraft and have since focused on existing models, really having far more to chew and adding a 77710 to the plate for the, for the longest period hasn't made sense. It has been a handful this program, as all three variants across the passenger and freighter divisions remain uncertified and are now almost six years late. During the 2010s, reports for Flight Global suggested that Boeing had established technical feasibility. This meant that the 77710 would be possible if it chose to act on demand. However, this was just one part of the many feasibility studies that need to occur. For Boeing to launch a new aircraft, while technical feasibility is excellent, it must also determine if a market even exists for the aircraft at all. And the 77710, remembering, in essence, would look to add capacity onto the existing 7779, positioning itself as the closest thing to a super jumbo aircraft in this day and age. With plane makers moving away from producing quad-engined super jumbos, the days of double-decker jets with abundance of capacity are simply gone. And for some airlines, this may present long-term challenges, none more so than Emirates. At least they have been the most vocal about this. Emirates has certainly been the most vocal about a drive to release a model like the 77710, which is why its latest deal for the 777X announced at the Dubai Air Show and including a feasibility study for this model just means so much. The Dubai-based carrier is the world's largest operator of the world's largest passenger plane, and this is a model that is not getting any younger. Emirates can confirming that it will be challenging to keep this aircraft in its fleet past 2041. With that in mind, Emirates faces another problem. With no dedicated replacement, questions internally are already being asked about how it will replace this aircraft on its network. Remember, this is a type that's become an icon and an obvious flagship, but it has done more than just elevate the brand. The A380 has enabled Emirates to fly into some of the world's most heavily slot-constrained airports with a truckload of capacity Capacity, leveraging Dubai as a hub, allowing it to connect Dubai to the world. Well, without the A380, that is something the airline needs to begin picturing, as it has repeatedly called for an A380neo, but for the moment, those calls have gone unanswered, Airbus deciding to not just abandon the A380-800, but place its priorities elsewhere. And now, with the 77710 getting that all-important confirmation that feasibility studies will now take place to see whether a launch makes sense, it is a step in the right direction for this airline, and I'd love to hear your take on this down below in the comments. Do you see a world in which the 777 710 gets off the ground, or are you in the camp where you find this a bit difficult considering the 779 has yet to formally launch? Let me know. Thanks for your support. Take care, and I'll see you no doubt in a couple of hours for more coverage on the 2025 edition of the Dubai Air Show. And flight, and we'll fly.